The Rise of Skywalker, the most controversial Star Wars film that Disney has created yet. We are days away from its release, and if you are a fan of what Disney has been doing with Star Wars, you may be excited to see it. I personally will not see it. I have not been a fan of what they have done with Star Wars. I will not waste my money on this film. But over the past few weeks, there have been various script and plot leaks, which are all but confirmed now, as there have been and some images from the movie put online that do confirm all of the main plot points that were discussed. If you do not want the movie to be spoiled for you, I completely understand, but this is your spoiler warning as I have decided to read through specific points of the plot so maybe I can save you all some money and we can have some discussion going on this topic. It honestly seems pretty bad. I am just going to read the end, mainly the last three-fourths due to that being the most impactful part of the movie, but I will not show any of the leaked images in case Disney decides to strike people down since they are spoilers, they are leaked, they're not supposed to be on the internet yet, and of course Disney is known for doing that, but the images are online and you can find them fairly easily. When it comes to Disney's Star Wars trilogy, I personally have been very disappointed with it, and this doesn't seem like a good ending. After the last two, you really expected The Rise of Skywalker to bring characters back and to really just close out this awful trilogy. I just didn't expect it to be this bad. When Rey gets to Exegol, she wanders in, meeting zero resistance, and happens upon the Sith throne. Palpatine emerges on the mechanical arm from the side of it revealing everything to her including that the assassin was meant to retrieve her not to kill her they get surrounded by hundreds if not thousands of palpatine's acolytes i personally was skeptical when they said they were bringing palpatine back as he was supposed to be dead he's not supposed to be alive but he isn't of course they just had to work around that by making it what seems to be a clone of him it's not completely um, clear, but he is on a life support type of system. If you look at one of the leaked images of Palpatine, he's on life support. Um, while Palpatine is goading Rey into killing him, he points out the fleet claiming she could become Empress Palpatine. A Mary Sue! As an empress, of course she could be an empress, because she ha needs to have no training. Imagine how long it took Palpatine to become the emperor. Imagine how long that takes for any of the past emperors. But no, no, it's okay. It's all right. Ray can just become an empress if she'll be friends with Palpatine. Kylo, now Ben, enters Exegol and gets his ass handed to him by the Knights of Ren until about to strike at Palpatine, Rey initiates a bond and gives him Leia's lightsaber. Kylo Ren is by far the worst Sith I have ever heard of, but the problem is, is that he is too wishy-washy and uncontrolled to be a Jedi. He is not even that strong of a Force user. He cannot even beat Rey. He had years and years of hard training, and then Rey just picks up a lightsaber in the first movie and can suddenly kick his ass. That makes no sense. Well, it does because she's a Mary Sue, but he is probably probably the worst Sith I have ever heard of. Palpatine apparently speaks about the bond they share and how extremely powerful and rare it is for it to occur. He then sucks their life to restore his and we see his white eyes turn to the yellow slash orange Sith style. Apparently Palpatine does in fact throw Ben into the ravine, claiming he is the last in the Skywalker line. This is where it starts to go very downhill in my opinion. Rey hears voices such as Yoda, Luke, Leia, Mace Windu, and others who give her strength to stand up. Just so you know this has been different various characters during the test screenings there were a couple of different options there was like luke and leia and then there was mace windu and yoda at one point it was rumored that there was like anakin and luke who knows who that really will be but of course they're bringing those nostalgic characters back because they can't make a movie without those nostalgic characters that they wanted to kill off in the first place 
Palpatine tries to lightning her, but she blocks it with one of the sabers, but it seemingly stalemates them. She then finds the strength to pull the other saber to her, making an X formation, and this allows for her to deflect the lightning back towards him. Of course a Mary Sue could do this, and of course a Mary Sue could kill a Palpatine clone. I just want to ask if Palpatine's clone did absolutely nothing, which it sounds like he did in this movie, absolutely nothing. What was the point to have a clone of him? Palpatine apparently disintegrates and explodes, causing the arena to crumble, but also killing Rey. Ben apparently climbs out of the pit, finding a dead Rey. He, of course, fell into the pit, was thrown into the pit by Palpatine, but he's not dead, of course. He needs to do one last heroic act, even though he was never a hero during this whole movie series, and decides to give his life for her. He uses the healing trick to save Rey, but draining his life force in the process. Then there is a weird fanfic moment where they kiss and he dies. I don't want to see them kiss. They do not have this emotional connection. Yes, they have a connection through the Force, but that is not explained. We do not really know why they have this connection through the Force. And suddenly, he just kisses her, and then he dies for her, even though he's been trying to kill her in the past few movies. The ending described is also slightly different than I had previously been told. Rey didn't disassemble Luke and Leia's lightsabers. She came to the moisture farm to bury them. She now has a black slash gray handled lightsaber, which she ignites to show a yellow blade. This has been rumored to be a couple of different things, but it sounds like she has taken parts and pieces from Luke and Leia's lightsaber and made her own, um, at least from what we've heard and what the average of these stories are. She and BB-8 are the only ones present until a woman appears asking her name, to which she says Ray. Ray who? This is one of the main pictures that was spoiled online, and then seeing Luke and Leia's ghosts in the distance replies Ray Skywalker as she clearly sees them as parents she was never able to have. Ray and BB-8 look off into the setting twin suns and the movie ends. This sounds awful to me. I do not think she deserves to call herself a Skywalker. She has no reason to call herself a Skywalker. Yes, they might have seemed like parents to her. They were figures that she looked up to. But the last Skywalker is dead. You should not call yourself a Skywalker when that is not your legacy. I just think this all sounds awful. I think this sounds like a big fan fiction. A lot of this doesn't make sense. What was the point of Palpatine? It's not not like he strengthened her, her her bond with with Kylo it's not like he did anything amazing he just had a death star he had an army and he had a fleet and that was it he just died, and it sounds like he died pretty easily. I just feel so disappointed with these spoilers. I would say I hope that they are not true, but unfortunately it does sound like they are true with the images that are online. I am curious to know your thoughts on this whole movie and the whole situation surrounding the Star Wars Disney trilogy. Do you think that this is a good end to the trilogy? I personally don't think anything in this trilogy was memorable. I cannot wait until it is over, but let everyone know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Please make sure to give it a like, and of course, if you did not enjoy the video, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.